Control D, Command D on the Mac. Go back into the file that we're working with and I'm gonna paste it here. Control V, Command D on the Mac, and there it is. As you can see, it's a high resolution file, which is good. I'm gonna change the blend mode to green so the black pixels disappear. And keep rotating in. So maybe something. Something like this. And I, I can 
you know, scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to. So whatever distortions I need to do for it to work. So maybe something like that. So I just press enter to accept that transformation. And I'm going to use one more element. I'm going to use this one right down here. Again, control C, copy, and paste that in here. Change the blend mode to screen. Control T to transform. That's command in the Mac. Control zero. Command zero in the Mac. And scale this one in as well. And I'm going to zoom in. And here. We can, of course, create a selection around the black area to isolate it. But I like working with vectors better because they. And. I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So the black, I'm gonna paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here. And I'm not gonna take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial, and you can see the final image, but I'm just gonna go around the entire image and just make sure that Everything is masked out accordingly. And in most of these areas, everything seems to be okay. I know we gotta work on this area here. And like I said, I'll do that from the little photo and you can see my final result. But for now, we'll just leave it as it is. I'm gonna press Z on the keyboard, right click, and choose to the screen. And what we're gonna work on now is extra elements that are gonna help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting. So from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements we're going to use. We're going to use this shovel with snow, so let me just double click on that to open that up. And by the way, the links to these files are on the description. You have to download them from Adobe Stock, they're not free, but you can use a watermark preview to practice on. So I would recommend you doing that just so that you can have a way to practice and learn. So the first thing I got to do is get rid of the shovel. I'm gonna then I can hold shift and backspace, or you can go into edit, fill to bring up the fill menu. Under contents, choose content aware and press OK. And Photoshop will fill in those pixels in the shovel here. I'm going to press Ctrl D, Command D on the Mac to deselect. And this is what we're going to work with. The first thing that we need to do is mask out the snow from the ground. So I'm going to go into the channels panel, and I'm going to look for the channel got the most contrast. In this case, the blue channel. I'm going to click and drag on the blue channel and drop it here in the new channel icon to duplicate it. Now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments to it. The first thing I'm going to do is fill with white on the areas that I want to keep for copy icon to make a selection around it. Go back into the layers panel on the background layer, which is the only layer that we have in this document. And notice now the floor no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection but it's going to work because the color of the floor and the color of the table are very similar colors and I think we're going to be able to get away with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply click on the layer, select the move tool, click and drag the layer over onto the other file by hovering over the tab and coming down and releasing and there's our file. It's a really big layer so we're going to need to scale it down. Control T, Command T in the back transform we can't see the corner handles so I'm gonna press control zero command zero on the Mac there's the corner handle and now I'm gonna adjust them accordingly. now the color of the shape really doesn't matter so I'm just gonna make it red just so that you can see it there it is red what I'm gonna do now is enable the layer of the snow border I'm gonna click and drag her up to the top of the layers panel and I'm also gonna double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see and actually, now that I'm looking at it at 100%, I'm actually going to right-click on it and choose Fit on Screen so that I can see the entire field. And notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at this moment. If you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection, I'm going to hold Alt, Option on the Mac, click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more. With this brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair, hopefully we'll get a better selection. Now, I didn't do that good of a job here, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. So I'm going to press OK, 
click on the brush tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just going to paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm still liking some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So with black, I'm going to paint on that layer mask to get rid And I'm not going to take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image. But I'm just going to go around the entire image and just go the tutorial and you can see my final duplicate. Now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments to it. The first thing I'm going to do is fill with white on the areas that I want to keep for copy icon to make a selection around it. Go back into the layers panel on the background layer, which is the only layer that we have in this document. And notice now that the floor no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection but it's going to work because the color of the floor and the color of the table are very You can't see the corner handles. I'm holding, I'm holding shift as I'm clicking on these corner handles to keep the file constrained. The angle is not really matching my seam so I'm going to right click on it and choose flip horizontal and from here I can match the seam a little bit better and I can even distort it if I want to. Maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better perspective of scene that we're working with, maybe something like this. Right click, fit the screen, then I'm going to press the V on the keyboard to get the move tool and maybe I can move it around if I need to. And I'm going to click on the new group icon to create a new group. I'm going to click and drag this snow layer in there. I'm going to collapse it and now it's in that group. Next I'm going to hold Alt, option on the Mac, and click on the layer mask icon to create a black layer mask. With the brush tool, I can paint with white on this layer mask to start revealing some of that snow. So I'm going to use a bracket piece in the keyboard as I work to increase and decrease the size of my brush. So I'm just painting with white, just bringing in some of that snow. Snow a little bit better. Photoshop CC, you won't have the library panel, but you can still download the watermark previews onto your desktop and bring them into Photoshop as you would any other image. So what I'm going to do now is just select one of these elements and bring it over to the file that I'm working with. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool and I'm going to select this element first. So I'm going to select it, go to edit and copy or you can press Control C. I'm going to deselect that element, Control D, Command D on the Mac. Go back into the file that we're working with and I'm going to paste it here. Control V, Command V on the Mac, and there it is. As you can see, it's a high resolution file, which is good. I'm going to change the blend mode to green so the black pixels disappear. And keep rotating it. So maybe something. Something like this. And I. I can, you know, scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to. So whatever distortions I need to do for it to work. So maybe something like that. So I just press enter to accept that transformation. And I'm going to use one more element. I'm going to use this one right down here. Again, control C, copy, and paste that in here. Change the blend mode to screen. Control T to transform. That's command in the Mac. Control zero. Zero on the Mac and scale this one in as well. And I'm gonna zoom in and here. We can of course create a selection around the black area to isolate it, but I like working with vectors better because they and I know I'm still liking some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard which swaps the foreground and background color. So with black, I'm going to paint on that layer mask to get rid of this guy here. And I'm not going to take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image. But I'm just going to go around the entire image and just make sure that everything is masked out accordingly. And in most of these areas, everything seems to be okay. I know we gotta work on this area here. 
here. And like I said, I'll do that from the last photo and you can see my final result. But for now, we'll just leave it as it is. I'm gonna press V on the keyboard, right click, and choose fix the screen. And what we're gonna work on now is extra elements that are gonna help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting. So from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements we're gonna use. We're gonna use this shovel with the snow, so let me just double click on that to open that up. And by the way, the links to these files are on the description. You have to download them from Adobe Stock, they're not free, but you can use a watermark preview.